seven of your seven day feel good challenge. You made it, you're here. I hope that you're feeling amazing. I hope that your new year is starting off right. Or if you're doing this some other time, not January 1st, then I hope your year has been going great. <laughs> For this last class of the series, all you need is a set of light weights. So I have grabbed my two pounders, my trusty two pounders. Of course, if you don't have weights, filled water bottles or cans of beans are perfect as well. Go ahead and set your weights off to the right side of your mat. And then we're gonna to turn to face the right. And I want you to come down into a squat. And I just want you to hold your squat. Hands can come to your heart. And take a moment. Look down at your feet. Make sure that you can see all 10 toes. And that all 10 toes are pointing forward. Once you feel like you have that alignment, go ahead and lift your chin back so that your gaze is a few feet in front of the top of your mat. Really push into your heels. Press your inner thighs away from each other. And then actively feel your hips reach back as your heart reaches forward. So you're getting even longer through the sides of your waist. Now I want you to continue to feel the inner thighs pressing away from one another. Take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, really wrap the sides of your waist in and feel how your abdominals can fire here. Keep all of that. Just step your left foot out wide so it's out of the edge of your mat. Pause. Press your inner thighs away from each other. Reach your hips back. Now step your left foot back and under your hip. Stay with me. You're gonna stand, you're gonna pull your left knee up to your chest, and then lower it back down, coming back into your squat. Switch, step the right foot out to the edge of your mat. Pause, push your inner thighs out, reach your hips back. Step your right foot back in, and then drive through the standing left foot, draw the right knee up to the chest, lower down. Squat, pick it up, go out, and in, knee lift up, and down, other side goes out. And in, knee lift up. Keep going like that. So just finding a little bit of stability on one foot here. So for our seat work today, we're gonna to be taking it standing, and you're gonna to wanna to find your balance on one leg. Four more times. Three more times, go out. The last two here, it's out. And in, and up. The last one, right foot out. And in, now you're gonna hold your squat. Send your arms back behind you. Palms open to the floor. Inner thighs press out. Now again, hips reach back. Heart reaches forward, start to pulse your hips a little down. Little down, little down. Yes, you've got it, down an inch. Push down to your heels. But really feel all 10 toes continue to press down into the mat. Eight more pulses, eight. Six, here for four, three, Two, inhale, sweep your arms high, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Wrapping your abdominals in and just letting yourself hang down all over your legs. Let your head be heavy. Maybe you wanna sway the upper body, bend the knees as much as you need. Take a big breath in and let it go. Let's soften your knees so your hands can come to the mat. Toe heel walk your feet out to the edges of your mat and find a slight external rotation. So your heels are on your mat and your toes are off. From here, drop your hips down, coming into a malasana, not a yogi squat. Just coming as low as it feels good for you. And then nice and slow, reach your hips up towards the sky, opening up the backs of the legs. We lower down for two counts. And we lift it up for two counts. Two counts down. And two counts up. Two more times we lower the hips. We lift them up. Now this time I want you to lower the hips and stay down low. If it feels good, you can bring your hands up to your heart. And just rock from side to side, getting a little opening for the inner thighs and into the hips. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Now plant your hands down onto your mat and step your feet back, coming into a bare plank. So in a bare plank, your knees are underneath your hips, you're in this all fours position. My hands are under my shoulders, and then I have this 90 degree bend in my hips and in my knees. Your knees are hovering just an inch or two off of the mat here, and at any point if that's too intense, you can just go ahead and tap your knees down to the mat, okay? Spread your fingers wide, squeeze your thumbs in towards each other, take a big breath in, and then as you exhale, feel your abdominals hug up to the sky. Now hips are not gonna move, your left leg is gonna float up, donkey kick position, and then tap right back down, switch, exhale, right leg up, 
and inhale, right leg down. Keep going, left leg up, and left leg down. It's a right leg up, and a right leg down. So as you're finding this march with your lower body, I want you to notice how much abdominal engagement it takes to keep your hips from rocking from side to side. This is the exact same position we're gonna come in a little later for our seat work. Just about. <laughs> Four more times. Three more times. Last two. Last one, right leg up. And down, lift the hips, downward dog. I'm gonna walk my feet a few inches farther back just to open up my down dog a little bit. Feel free to do the same if you'd like. <sighs> Let your hips wiggle. Let your knees bend, maybe your head needs to shake out, whatever it is that feels good. Take a big breath in and let it go. Up onto your tippy toes, roll through the spine, high plank, tap down onto your forearms. It's a forearm plank. And of course your knees are an amazing option for a little bit more support here. Push down into your forearms, actively pull your elbow tips back towards your toes, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, really lift the belly up, feeling the front low ribs knit together. Staying here is an amazing choice. Or take a little dip of the hips to the left and to the right. It's a little twist of the hips to the left and to the right. So you'll notice it's a really small twist. So my ankles are not moving. It's just my pelvis that's taking a little twist side to side. Opening up through the obliques. Four more times. Go four. Three. The last one to the right, meet knee center, hold it. Push into the palms, pull your heart forward, and take a big breath in. As you exhale, I want you to feel your elbow tips and your toes pulling in towards one another as you lift up through the abdominals. Hold right here for four. You're here for three. You're here for two. Child's pose, big toes together. Knees as wide as you feel ready for. Reach your hips back to your heels. And just breathe. Big inhale. And let it go. Walk yourself up to seated. Swing your legs around in front of you. And grab your weights. Coming into some seated abdominal work. So one weight is going to come into either hand. I want you to bend your knees and flex through your feet. Now start by sitting up as tall as you can. Take your weights. Push them into your mat. And then really feel how the press down of the weights helps you to elongate and lengthen your spine. Soften your shoulders and find that your shoulders are stacking directly over your hips. The only way to do that is to really fire up through the abdominals, wrapping the front lower ribs together. Now from here, keep this alignment, this length, just sweep your arms forward. Draw the upper arm bones back. Bend the arms in half, hammer curl, or reach the arms out long. Take a hammer curl in and reach it out. Now as you reach the arms long, I want you to hinge the torso back. You've got it. Inhale up and exhale hinge. Rise up and hinge it back. So when you take this hinge, I want to challenge you to keep your spine in neutral. So we're not rounding the low spine. We're not changing the shape of the spine at all. We're keeping the length all the way through the crown of the head. We're just hinging back, feeling the abdominals fire, and sitting up four more times. Let's exhale back, and inhale in. You've got it. Go three more, and up two more times. Let's exhale, and inhale. Now this time, exhale, hinge back, hold it. Draw the upper arm bones back into the socket, and feel your shoulder blades draw down your back. Yes, beautiful. Lift your heart, inhale. On your exhale, come back an inch, up an inch, little back. Little up, yes, it's back, and up. So here, we're gonna feel a lot of work into all of the layers of the core. What I love about working in this neutral spine position is that it's so applicable to everyday life, right? This is really the position you wanna be in all the time. This beautiful lengthened position where your abdominals are stabilizing you. Is that realistic? Probably not, <laughs> but it's a good goal. If you're feeling this, only in your hip flexors, the front of your hips, then I do want you to make a change, okay? If this is all hip flexors, I want you to play with rounding your low spine. So pushing your sacrum into the mat and rounding through the low back. 
that's going to take a little bit of the work and the tension out of your hip flexors. Four more, go four. Three, two, take this one back, hold it. Inhale. As you exhale, arms open to a narrow V. And then inhale, sweep them right back center. Exhale out. And inhale in. Yes, so as your arms open, I'm hoping you feel a little bit more work happening in your obliques, in the sides of your waist. Two more times, we exhale open. And inhale, close. Now this time, exhale open, hold it. Feel the sides of the waist drop in. Feel the shoulders draw down the back, and then maybe hinge back just one more inch. Hold right here for four, three, two. Don't come up, just squeeze the weights together. Take a little twist to the left. Come back to center. Take a little twist to the right. Come back to center, pick it up. Go left, center, right, center. A little twist, little twist. So what I want you to notice here is that your hips should not be moving. This twist is really your rib cage twisting. Twist the rib cage left, the rib cage right. So nothing is changing in your pelvis. So nothing should be changing in your legs. Four more, four, three, two. Last one, hold it center, squeeze the weights, inhale. As you exhale, I want you to hinge back two more inches and then lift up two more inches. Take it back for two. And for two, at any point, if the weights get to be too much, you can just draw them closer to your chest, or you can ditch them all together, okay? You can just set them down. Two more times, exhale back, and inhale up. Last one, and it's exhale back, and inhale up. Now take it back and hold it. You can stay right where you are, or maybe you extend the legs all the way to straight. You can stay right where you are, or maybe you send your weights forward. You can stay right where you are, or maybe you exhale, and float the weights overhead. Feel the ribs wrap in. Feel the cubic bone drawing up to the belly button and then maybe hinge back just one more inch. Hold right here for four. Hold here for three. Hold here for two. Come all the way up, cross the legs. Set the weights to the side. Take your hands to the tops of your shins. Find a cat cow. Inhale, lift the heart. Arching through the low spine. And exhale, pull off away from the shins, rounding and spreading the shoulder blades wide. Keep going like that at your pace, opening up a little bit more through the spine and releasing in the hip flexors, just in case you got a little tense there during our abdominal series. This is the last one. Go ahead and meet me in a neutral spine. Bend the high plank, coming up and over the feet. Plant the hands, extend the legs back behind you. Big breath in. Exhale, downward dog. We'll lift the hips high, pressing them out away. Squeeze your thumbs towards one another. Take a breath and let it go. Walk your hands and your feet to meet each other. Leave your weights where they are. Just bend your knees, drag through your heels, and slowly roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. We're going to find a spot at a wall or a chair. Um, at a wall. It needs to be a wall. So you're going to find a wall. Any wall will do, as long as you've got some space. Take your hands to the wall. And step your feet back, coming into a plank position in this more of an incline position, right? This high plank. Hands are under your shoulders. I want you to bend your elbows just halfway and hold it. So traditional push-up position, so the elbows are going back at about a 45 degree angle. I want you to feel your shoulder blades drawing down your back. And I want you to really feel your front low ribs knitting together. Now nice and slow, we're going to press up straight arms. Bend down to our push-up. Go, it's inhale up. And exhale down. Take it up for two. And lower for two. Now, if you don't like this, you can always do more traditional push-ups down on the mat. This is honestly just transitioning us into our seat work. <laughs> two more just like that. You've got it. Rise up two. Lower two. Now, you're going to keep the same control. We're just going to take it faster. One count goes up and down. You've got it. Lift and lower. Go here for Three, two. Now I want you to hold the down, pulse one inch, go down an inch, down an inch, down an inch. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Notice if you're arching into the low back, hug the abdominals in and really feel the strength of the pubic bone drawing up towards the lower ribs. Eight more pulses here. You've got it. Eight, seven, six, five. You're here for four, three, two. Press back, straight arms, chest stretch. 
keeping your hands pressing into the wall. Lengthen the legs, softening the knees, and dive your heart down towards the floor. Big breath in, and a big breath out. Roll yourself back up to stand. You're gonna rotate, bringing your left hand to the wall and finding your feet in parallel. So heels are underneath the sits bones here. We're gonna come into a standing seat work series. It might feel a little clunky, a little weird. Just trust yourself, okay? Left hand is on the wall or a chair for supports. Right hand can just be on your hip. I want you to soften your left knee and slide your right leg back behind you, almost like it's on a ski. So all 10 toes are still pointing forward. My right leg is as straight as I can get. So I'm really squeezing the right quadricep. From there, I'm gonna to start to pulse my right leg back an inch, back an inch, back an inch, yes. A little press back, go back and back. Now for this standing series, you're gonna feel both hips, both glutes working. That's okay, but I would love more work to be in this right glute. So check in with your left leg. Notice if you're collapsing into the hip. Notice how my hip just dropped and pushed out to the wall. I want you to push down through your left foot, soften your left knee, and then really feel your outer left glute firing up, wrapping in towards your sits bones. Eight more pulses, eight. Could you get your right leg a little straighter? Go for three, two, hold that pulse back, hamstring curl. And lengthen it out. Yeah, you got it. Bring it in. And take it out. So in this upright position, you might feel like things are a little crowded, right? You may not have as much space as you would if you were hinging forward. That's okay. It might just be a smaller movement. I want you to find the same abdominal engagement we were just doing on the mat. So the shoulders, the ribs, the hips are in line with each other. Your pubic bone is pulling up towards your belly button and your heart is lifted. Collarbones are nice and wide. Two more times, curl it in and lengthen it out. Now this time I want you to hold the hamstring curl, press your right thigh bone back so it's behind your left. And then from here, take an external rotation. So turn your right leg out, pause. Your right inner thigh is rotating open. Your right knee is outside of your right hip and your right heel is pulling towards your left hip bone. Now from there, I want you to do the opposite. We're gonna find internal rotation. So bring your right knee in so it rotates towards your left knee. Pause. Right pinky toe is pointing out towards the center of the room. Beautiful, and you're feeling a lot of work, I'm hoping, into the outer right glute. From there, it's two counts external, two counts internal. Turn it out, and turn it in. Yes, keep going, turn it out, and turn it in. We're still standing tall on our left leg. Feel your outer left glute working to help support and stabilize you. And then use the wall to support you as much or as little as you need. So I just kind of have my forearm resting here as a little reminder to stay long and strong through my left side. Two more times, internal rotation, external. Now this time I want you to find internal rotation and I want you to hold it. So right knee is pointing toward left knee, right femur bone is rotating inward. Pulse the right leg back and back and back, so it's almost going back in a diagonal to the right. Your toes are poking backward, go, it's poke and poke. So the right femur bone is rotating in the socket, rotating inward in the socket. This probably feels a little funky. It's not something we do a ton of. That doesn't mean it's not something we should do, right? Eight more pulses, go, it's eight and six. Here for a four, three, two, hold the back, switch it, external rotation. Right inner thigh rotates open. Feel your outer right glute start to squeeze you. Pulse your right thigh bone back and back and back. You're almost there. So I specifically saved this seat work for the last day because all of the information that you've built up over this week can be applied here, right? Supporting side is strong. Abdominals have to be strong. We have to be soft in the shoulders and the face. And then all of the work we've done, internal, external, parallel, working the femur bone, rotating in the socket. Eight more pulses, here go eight. You have one more variation, it's on deck. Four more pulses, four, three, two. Hold that press back, inhale. Now as you exhale, keep the right leg turned out, just extend it straight. Point your right hip forward toward me. Feel your right pinky toe spiraling open, right inner thigh spiraling open. Pulse your right leg back, it's a little back, a little back, a little back. So my right heel is extending back on the diagonal. You have 16 pulses, 16. 15, you're almost there. Lots of work should be happening in your standing glute. That's okay too. Eight more pulses, eight, 
We have a hold in six. You hold in four, three, two. Here's your hold inhale. Now as you exhale, I want you to squeeze your right quadricep, get your right leg a little straighter. You can stay where you are, maybe the right arm reaches high. Reach fingers and heel on the right side away from each other. As you reach your right leg back even straighter. Hold four, press it back, it's three. Hold here for two, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, hinge your torso forward, reach your hips back, figure four stretch. If you prefer a different variation of this, feel free to take it, okay? Hmm. Soften the left knee, pull the left hip bone back, and then really feel the right inner thigh pressing down towards the floor here. Take a big inhale, and a big exhale. One more time, breathe in, and let it go. Rise up, shake it out. You can just spin around. I'm gonna to come to the other wall so that I'm still facing you. Your right hand is gonna to come to the wall this time. Feet are in parallel right underneath your hips. Now from here, soften your right knee, squeeze the other right glute, so you're gonna fatigue faster because you've already worked this right side. Just know that in advance, okay? Left leg is gonna stay straight, just slide it straight back behind you. All 10 toes are pointing forward. Squeeze your left quadricep, get your left leg straighter, start to pulse the left leg back, go a little back, a little back, a little press. So here, you might notice that your left knee is tempted to bend. I want you to really activate the quadricep, the front, the thighs, so that rather than this being a hamstring exercise, it's much more about the glute squeezing to pull your left leg back one inch, go a little back. We're gonna get lots of hamstrings soon. You know that that hamstring crawls on deck. Now check in with your right side. You're probably gonna feel fatigue really quickly. So make sure you're not locking out your right knee. Make sure you're not jutting your right hip towards the wall, okay? Keep lifting up and out of your right hip, squeezing the outer right glute. You have eight more pulses with your left leg, eight, six, here for a four, three. Hold the left leg back, hamstring curl comes in for two. Lengthens out for two. Yeah, you've got it, pull it in. And lengthen long. Now as you curl your left heel in, I want you to feel your left thigh bone pressing back. So as you bend the left knee, it's tempting to slide your left thigh bone forward. Continue to feel the press back of the left thigh, the squeeze of the left glute, hips curl it in, and reach it long three more times, hamstring curl, extend it out, beautiful work, two more, it's in. And out, last one, full range, you take it in. And out, now hamstring curl, the left leg, hold the bend. From here, externally rotate, turn the left leg out, pause. Feel the left inner thigh pressing open. Left knee is pointing outside of the left hip and left heel is pulling in towards your right glute. So this is your external rotation. Now find the opposite internal rotation. So feel the femur bone rotate in the socket, bringing your left knee to point towards your right. Left pinky toe shooting out towards the center of the room. Two counts fine, it's external and internal. Yes, you've got it. Turn it out and turn it in. So I'm feeling a lot of heat, absolutely, on my standing right side, but I am still feeling <laughs> my left glute working. So feeling work on your standing side isn't necessarily a bad thing, right? We do standing glute work all the time because it's so transferable to everyday life, right? You're gonna do a lot of work standing using your glutes in your everyday life. The idea here is that we're getting a little bit more mobility by taking this external and this internal rotation while also getting lots of stabilizing work on a supporting side. Last time, turn it out. Now find that pair of that turned in position, rather, excuse me, that internal rotation, start to press your left thigh bone back and back and back. Yes, you got it, back and back. Whoo, maybe your left heel pulls a little closer to your seat. You have eight more pulses, eight. You might feel a little funky. Go with it, okay? You're here for four, three, two, Hold it, external rotation to your left leg out. Feel your inner thigh pressing open. Feel the outer left glute squeeze. You pulse your left leg back, go pulse. And pulse, we're almost there. Double check, shoulders are soft. Abdominals are hugging in. Again, the pubic bone is drawing up towards the belly button, so you're really feeling that zippering up through the front body. You have eight more pulses, eight, six. Here for four, three, two. Hold it back. Stay externally rotated, stay turned out. Just extend your left leg straight. Spin your left hip forward, soften your standing right knee, squeeze your left quadricep, pulse your left leg back, 
and back. You're almost there. Yes, you've got it. Pulse it back and back. Feel the outer left glute squeezing. Feel the length all the way through your left heel. Go 16, 15. Final hold is coming. It's 12 more. Eight, six, here for four, three, two, hold the back. You can stay right here or maybe left arm reaches up to the sky. Reach left fingers and left heel farther away from one another. Press your left leg back, squeeze your outer right glute, and hold and breathe for four, three, two, left ankle over right thigh, figure four, stretch. Again, if you prefer a different variation on the stretch, feel free to take it. Soften through your right knee and feel your left inner thigh drawing down towards the ground here. Big breath in and a big breath out. One more time, inhale and let it go. Rise up, shake it out, find your way back to your mat, grab your weights. We're going to finish with an arms and thigh series. So now I want you to face towards the left side wall. Your weights are in your hands, and we're gonna come into a squat position. Same place you started class in. This time though, I want you to take your weights and reach them back behind you. Palms are facing each other, straight this tricep extension. From here, we're gonna bend the elbows. Drive through your heels, stand up, reach weights overhead. Squat down, bend your elbows. Tricep kick back, pick it up, go, it's in. Up, down, and kick back, go, it's in, and up. Now, if this does not feel good in your shoulders, go ahead and press the weights forward rather than up when you lift up. As you come down into your squat, I want you to really lift your elbow tips higher to the sky. So when you take that tricep kick back, your arms are higher than the backside of your rib cage. So we're really working into the triceps. You have three more. It's two more times up. Last one, we go up. Now I want you to hold the extension of your arms, pulse your arms up and up and up. Now stay strong in the legs here. Think back to the setup we did at the intro of class. Inner thighs press away from one another. We're driving through the heels and our hips and our chest are reaching long in opposition. It's eight more pulses with your arms go eight, six, here for four, three, Hold the pulse up with the arms, take a little bend of the elbows, and extend the arms straight. Pick it up, go, bend, reach, bend, reach. It's a tiny bend, much more focused on the big extension through your arms. Go, it's reach, and reach. Shoulders draw down your back. And then double check that your ribs are not flaring open here. Really knit the front low ribs in, and draw the rib cage back into your back body. Eight more pulses with the arms, go eight. Bend, reach, bend, reach, bend, reach. You're here for four, three, two. Stay long with the arms, inhale. As you exhale, don't change your legs. Just bring your weights together at the front of the chest, squeezing the weights. Now from here, left foot's not gonna move. Step your right foot out wide. Step it in. Now, instead of lifting the knee, step your right foot back, finding a hinge lunge position, pause here. The right knee is under your right hip. Left knee is over your left ankle. Then step your right foot forward, coming back into a squat. Just like that, it's out and in, and lunge and squat. You've got it, out and in. We're not changing feet, just the right foot moves. So your left foot is your foundation here. Left foot is planting down into your mat. Left heel is driving energetically down as your left hip is pulling back. Go four, three more, go out. It's two more times, it's out. This time, take the right foot out, now hold the right foot back. Hinge, lunge, hold it. Squeeze the weights together, just pulse the weights up. Go a little up, little up, little up. Find stillness in your legs. Drive down into your left heel. And really squeeze your inner thighs together here. Now maybe you bend your right knee a little deeper. You're gonna hold the pulse up of the arms in four, three, two, hold that pulse up, inhale. Now as you exhale, drop your hips, go a little drop, a little drop. So now the arms are still, and it's the legs 
that are finding a little bit of movement. Really actively pull the weights together here and feel your pectoral muscles fire. Relax the toes of your left foot and drive energy down into your left heel. Beautiful, eight more pulses, go, it's eight. Six, here for four, three, two, hold it there, inhale. As you exhale, lift the chest, stacking the shoulders over the hips, coming into an upright lunge. Weights can stay right where they are, or you can reach them forward in front of you. Draw the arm bones back, squeeze the inner thighs together, let the front left heel lift, left heel lowers. It's the left heel up, and left heel down. Yeah, you've got it, lift it up. Don't worry about how high you get your left heel, just bring it to a hover, and lower it down. Four more, go lift. And lower, yes, beautiful work, it's up. Nothing is changing except the front left heel lifts up. Lowers down, last one, lifts it up. Lower your left heel, hold it, push into your left heel. Lift your heart and start to drop your hips. Go, it's drop and drop. You can stay right where you are or maybe the weights lift all the way up to the sky. 16 pulses, 16, 15. Now really feel your inner thighs drawing in and your left hip pulling back. You're here for eight more. You're here for four, three, two, hold it. Push into your left heel, lift your heart, and then bend a little lower into that back right knee. Hold here for four. Turn to face me in three, face me in two, rotate, face me wide, turn out. You got a little breather, weights to your inner thighs. Take a moment and twist, left shoulder, right knee. Big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, center, and switch. Right shoulder, left knee. Really pressing the inner thighs wide here, opening up. Big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, center, quarter turn to your right. Step the left foot forward, find your squat. Weight reach back behind you, palms face the floor. Bicep curl, reach overhead. Bend the elbow, squat, tricep, kick back, pick it up, go, it's in, up, down. We're taking that same series, focusing now on the right leg. From there, we will not come into a stretch. <laughs> we will finish with a wide turnout series where you have the option to use your weights or not. And that's where you finish your class. That's where you finish your challenge. <laughs> you have four more here, go four. Again, if this bothers your shoulders, you're gonna press your arms forward rather than overhead. Two more, it's in and up and squat. Extend, last one goes in. We're gonna hold the extension of the arms, pulse the arms up and up and up. Make sure the wrists are long. And then double check here in this beautiful squat alignment. Push down through your heels, inner thighs are pressing out. Really feel your thigh bones moving back. And in opposition, press your shin bones forward. And you're gonna find that counterbalance to help stabilize the hips. Go eight, go six. You're here for four, three. Hold the lift of the weight, squeeze the pinky fingers in and in and in. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Make sure the back of the neck is long. And again, double check abdominals, stay strong. Eight more squeezes and you hold it, eight, Six, squeeze in for four, three, two, hold that squeeze, inhale. Exhale, legs don't move, squeeze the weight to your chest. Draw the weights together and press them away from you, really activating through the pectoral muscles. Right foot stays still. Left foot steps out wide like you did in our warm up. Left foot steps in. Now step your left foot back, hold it. Find this hinge lunge position. Left knee is under your left hip. Right knee is over your right ankle, and my torso is in the same position it was in for the squat. From there, my left foot is going to step back forward, coming into the squat. Pick it up, go. It's out and in and lunge. Remember, don't change feet. It's out and in. So my left foot continues to move. Right foot stays planted the whole time. Driving down into my right heel, relaxing through my right toes, <laughs> and really feeling my right hip bone pulling back as I take all of this movement with my left leg around it. So I'm hoping to feel a lot of heat into your right leg. Four more, go four. 
remember we're meeting in the hinge lunge in three. Two more times, go out. Last time you take it out, now hold your hinge lunge. Hold right there, squeeze the weights, press the hands away, and just start to pulse your arms a little up, a little up, a little up. Drive down through your right heel. Squeeze your inner thighs in, and really actively pull your right hip bone back. Now feel how as much as you can squeeze the weights together, you're gonna get a little bit more activation into the chest. Eight more pulses with the arms, go eight, go six, here for four, three, two arms, stay, it's the hips that start to drop, and down, and down, little pulse with the legs, go down an inch, down an inch. Notice if you're gripping in your face, or gripping in your shoulders, Really try to keep the shoulder blades drawing down the back. The face and neck are soft. Here for eight, six, here for four, three, two, weight stay, inhale. Exhale, lift the chest, stacking the shoulders over the hips, upright lunge. Staying right here is a great option. Or maybe the arms reach forward, arm bones soften back. Chest stays lifted, front right heel goes up and down. Yes, you've got it, lift and lower. Feel your ankle bones squeezing in towards each other. And please know, you don't have to lift super high on the right foot. Only lift as high as you feel stable, so you're not letting your ankle roll up to the right. Four more, go lift. And lower. Three more, it's up. And down, two more times, right heel goes up. And down, last one, right heel goes lift. Right heel lowers to the mat, hold it there. You can stay where you are, or maybe the weights reach overhead. Your hips drop down, and down, and down. Lift your back left heel high, and feel your left knee stacked under your left hip bone. Push down into your right heel, and really feel your shoulders softening down your back. You're here for 16, 15. We hold on deck, eight more, go eight. Go six, you're spinning to face me in four, three, hold it low, big breath in. Now as you exhale, draw the weights together to the chest. Quarter turn, face me, wide turn out, this time don't stretch. Hips sink low, arms reach long. Flip your palms down to face the floor, full range, you rise up and down. Go lift and lower, push through your heels to bring yourself up to stand. And as you lower your hips, Feel the inner thighs rotating up towards the ceiling. Eight more. Now please know the weights are always optional. They are starting to get pretty heavy. <laughs> it's four, three, two. We're gonna stay low on the legs. Flip the palms up to the ceiling. Flip them back to the wall behind you. Go, it's up and back. Now really feel your heels driving down into the floor. And then feel your heels squeezing in towards one another. Rotate your inner thighs up to the ceiling. We're taking the weights out of the equation. In four, three, two. Now keep your palms facing the back wall. Hold here, inhale. As you exhale, lower your weights to your hips. Shake your arms out, but stay low on your legs. Pulse your hips down and down and down. Yes, you've got it down. Heels squeeze in. Inner thighs, rotate up. Now relax through your toes and see if you can keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. If you don't have that kind of mobility in your hips, that's okay, you can hinge forward, but just an energy, an idea to work toward, okay? Eight more pulses, eight, you're almost there. Six, go four, three, two, stay low in the legs. Start to pulse your thighs back towards the wall behind you, press and press, and you can stay right here. Or you can take your arms out, palms face me, and you can add the pulse back with the arms. This is it. Your final hold is on deck. Final hold for class. 16 pulses, 16. 12. Sink a little lower. Eight more. Final hold is in six. You're here for four, three, two. This is it, final hold. Get your arms as straight as you can. Sink the hips low, and then really actively squeeze your heels towards one another. Feel the inner thighs rotate to the sky, and maybe sink even lower. Hold and breathe for four arms longer. Get lower three. You're here for two. 
Woo. Wide leg, forward fold, rotate the legs to parallel. Set your weights off to the side. And then just take a nice stretch here. Taking any movement or variation that feels good in your body. Amazing job today. Amazing job this week. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Quarter turn to your right. Walk your hands over to the right, dropping that back left knee, coming into your low lunge. Fingertips can stay down, or if you prefer, you can take your hands to rest on top of your right thigh. Squeeze the inner thighs together, and then press the back left hip forward, opening up to the left quadricep, the left hip flexor. Big inhale. And a big exhale. Bring your hands to the mat on the inside of your right foot. Toe heel walk your right foot out to the edge of your mat, finding a little external rotation for a lizard position. Now, once you're in this lizard lunge, you can stay up on your hands. If it feels good, you can come down your forearms. Maybe you want to rock side to side. Maybe you want to find a little forward and back sawing motion. Or maybe you just want to stay still. Really feeling your right inner thigh pressing open here. Let's take two big breaths in this position. Inhale. Let it go. One more time, breathe in. And let it out. Gently press your right leg back, coming into an all fours position, just to switch sides. Left foot steps forward between the hands, low lunge. Again, your hands can stay on the mat, or if you prefer to bring your hands up to rest on your left thigh, you can do that as well. Pull the left hip back, squeeze the right glute, and press your right hip bone forward here. Hmm. Notice if you're holding tension in your shoulders or in your face. Try to let that go. And then really take this moment. I know it's easy to zone out during a stretch, but maybe take this moment and think about what you've accomplished. Maybe you just did today's class. Amazing. Maybe you did this whole week. Amazing. Maybe you're just getting back on your mat for the first time in a long time. Amazing. Whatever it is that you've accomplished, just take a moment, okay? Hands come to the inside of your left foot. So heel walk your left foot out and find your lizard lunge. And again, maybe you're up on your hands, maybe you're down on your forearms, wherever you are, just really check in with your body. See how that feels. I feel like going back to the, taking a moment of being proud of ourselves. I feel like we're so good at being proud of others. We are so good at saying, I'm proud of you, or way to go, or awesome job to our friends, our partners, our children. But do you ever really say it to yourself? Like, I feel like I never do. So let's say it to ourselves, okay? I am proud of myself. I did it. I accomplished this. Whatever this is, even if it's smaller than your hope, your greatest hope, it's still something, right? One more big breath in. Big breath out. One more time, press yourself back to all fours. And this time, puppy dog pose, keep your hips high. Walk your hands forward, let your forehead melt into the mat here. Really push down to the tops of the feet, feel the sitting bones reach up, and then let your heart melt. So you're opening up through the mid spine. <clears throat> Big breath in, and a big breath out. Walk your hands in, finding any seated position that feels comfortable for you. Together, let's inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, let it go. 
that is your class. Amazing, amazing work. So that is the end of our one week challenge, but the way that the calendar falls this year, tomorrow is a Monday, which means a brand new class is coming. It is not a 45 minute class. <laughs> I figured you might all need a break from 45 minute classes. In fact, it's about a 10 minute class. If you just want a little something to squeeze in between meetings when you have a moment. If you have not already, I really hope you'll subscribe to the channel. I hope that you'll share this challenge with everybody that you feel like might enjoy it, appreciate it. And I hope that our community can continue to grow and grow and grow. Always, please give me feedback, give me comments. I love all of that. I love hearing that I'm not just sending these classes out into the ethers and nobody is enjoying them. <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you back here on the mat Monday. <laughs>